Hey everyone, it's just me checking in. I just want to give you some last minute tips to help you guys do as well as possible with your exam on Tuesday. I just want to say good luck. Please know that you've got this. I've got every confidence in you. Go into that exam, head, head held high, knowing that you can absolutely do this. I know it feels really, really difficult, especially if it's one of your first exams or one of your first written exams. I know some of you've had French, Spanish, German, orals, and this feels like a huge deal, but it's honestly a relief to get going. It's a chance to showcase all your hard work from the last X number of years. So a few things regarding, you know, hygiene in terms of exam hygiene, going into that exam, do try and get a good night's sleep the night before. Make sure you wake up with plenty of time and get all of your apparatus you need. That means your calculator, your ruler, a pencil, rubber, pen. Don't stress yourself at an exam by not having things like this there. When you sit down at your paper, breathe deeply. Take five breaths in and out for me. Make sure you're hydrated. You don't want any headaches nagging you. Make sure you've drunk plenty of water. Try and drink water as opposed to energy drinks. I really don't recommend that you're stoking yourself up on energy drinks when the examiner says begin turn over that paper have a clear idea of how many questions there are um, make sure that you know you're working at the right pace so you're not rushing because when you rush you can introduce mistakes equally if there's questions that you're finding a bit more difficult don't get too hung up on those make a little note to yourself and come back to them Make sure you answer every single question on the paper. I say this time and time again, the people marking your work, they have no idea who you are. Remember your paper gets cut up and scanned so that the same person's marking every single kind of question one, different person's marking question two. So don't stress about whether your answers are silly or not. I want answers for every single thing, including multiple choice, fill in the blanks. If there's a four mark question, make sure you're providing four separate points, maybe even five, just to make sure in case one of your answers is not is a bit shaky, you'll increase your chance of actually scoring four marks there. But good luck and let me know how it goes.